Like Mary Barra, CEO at GM, Meg Whitman was faced with turning around a troubled company. After downsizing staff, she's now looking for a way to cut down the amount of energy her company, HP, uses. 35% of the world's energy could soon be sucked up by data storage. So that's forcing computer companies such as Hewlett Packard to get creative. Please welcome Meg Whitman. In Las Vegas this month, Hewlett Packard CEO Meg Whitman announced a bold gamble on the future. This changes everything. A dramatic redesign of computing, HP calls the machine. What will the machine be able to do? Well, it will be able to compute much faster with um, huge amounts of data, and it will also take up a lot less space and pull a lot less energy. Managing the explosion of data is literally sucking up the world's energy supply. Estimates are that um, it could take up 25 to 35 percent of the world's energy data centers, up from just 2 or 3 percent today. Hewlett Packard is working on using light to move data instead of copper wires. And Whitman is putting three quarters of the company's lab team on the project. That's a big bet. It's a big bet. We are taking a lot of the chips, <laughs> in, in the Las Vegas analogy, and putting them on red. <laughs> How big a bet is this, do you think, in terms of cost? Well, it'll depend over time, but it's in the billions of dollars. Founded 75 years ago in a Palo Alto garage, now considered the birthplace of Silicon Valley, HP's growth has stagnated as computing has shifted to mobile devices and the cloud. I think you wrote, there are many examples of companies or even entire industries that are big and slow and stuck. Exactly. And exactly. that's not where you want to be. We can't be there or there will not be another 75 years for HP. There aren't many tech companies that have been able to make these kind of transitions. There, you're, you're right. You have to be willing to cannibalize your existing business. And frankly, I would rather have, I'd rather do it to myself than have someone do it to me. So Whitman, who took eBay from 30 employees to 15,000 during her 10-year reign there, will cut 50,000 jobs at HP, about 14% of its global workforce. You're right here? Right here. And the 57-year-old CEO literally has broken down the walls of HP's executive culture. So have a seat. We'll have a meeting. <laughs> so did you, did you move everybody out into cubicles? I did. Why? So when I got here, this whole area was wood-paneled offices uh -huh. with um, a very formal, it looked like a bank in many ways. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I, for 10 years at eBay, we sat in cubicles exactly like this. And the interaction that happens is amazing. The other thing that was interesting is when you come to a new organization, symbolic value is really important. I learned that in politics. Whitman's political career was brief, a 2010 run for governor in California that ended in defeat taught her the value of communication. It's the story you tell, it's the heart, it's the authenticity that captures people's imagination. Mm -hmm. And I learned that running for governor, perhaps a little bit too late, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I did learn it. <laughs> Would you ever do it again? No. Never? No. no, I won't run for public office again. Do you regret it in any way? No, you know, it was very difficult, very humbling, but I have probably learned more from my failures than I have from my successes. Mm -hmm. And this was a fairly spectacular failure and um, a very public one. Mm -hmm. and the thing but she hasn't had many failures. And in fact, Hewlett Packard stock price, which was about $12 a year and a half ago, is now $34. That's what everyone looks at sometimes, yep. stock prices.